Returning for the ninth year here in Atlanta is the Black Interior Designers Network Conference. Over three days, designers from across the country come together to connect with one another and celebrate the incredible community of designers of color working today. Join me as we head inside this year's conference, where we'll be talking to leading interior designers and finding out what keeps them coming back to the BIDN conference year after year. I'm Caitlin Peterson, and you're watching Editor TV. You just gave a talk that electrified the room. Wow. What was the key takeaway that you wanted to leave the group? I think the key takeaway is to live in your own individuality, is to make sure that you wake up every single day and not live inside of a box. And don't get distracted by all the cool people you see on social media, all the fabulous people and the fabulous things that we see in the social media world. Sometimes it makes us want to be like this person one day and this person the next day. So I think like literally getting up and being yourself and doing exactly what God has called you to do is the best thing. You talked today about the kinds of experiences brands and makers are creating. Why is that so important? Oh, it's very important to engage now. You have to, to think about the consumer holistically, mm -hmm. and we have so many different channels to reach them. And so that sense of giving them something that engages them more deeply with your brand, that speaks to them about who you are, mm -hmm. is really important right now. We're seeing it come through having food in spaces, mm -hmm. floral displays where you come to shop for home. You know, it's those kinds of things that make us feel engaged. Mm -hmm. You talked about the road to profitability. What were some of the important things you wanted the designers in the room to know? I want the designers to understand that the biggest stair step to profitability is the initiative. People have to be willing to really put in that sweat equity and put forth that effort. The business and the success is not going to come to them, they have to go to it. So I was trying to encourage them to be willing to put in those long hours, to network, to go to where the opportunities are, and to shed any kind of low self-esteem or lack of self-confidence to get out there and be exposed to opportunities. Mm -hmm. So we just talked about how to utilize High Point Market to grow a design business. Mm -hmm. What are some of the key pieces of that for you? I've been going to market for several years now, um, and my role there and my experience has completely evolved. I think it's important for designers at all stages to take advantage of what's available, whether it's just inspiration or whether you're there to source product or meet people, connect with brands. There's just a lot that's offered there, and I think you would you'd be remiss if you didn't attend. So much of the conference has been about helping attendees take their business to the next level wherever they are. How does that fit into what you're doing every single day with the network? Every day I wake up, I'm always looking for different ways to be able to elevate these designers and their businesses and put them in front of the resources that they need to be able to excel in their businesses. Everybody's business is not run the same. However, it's up to us to figure out what they need in order to be able to grant them that so that they can succeed and be the best designers that you see. What is the biggest takeaway from the conference for you so far? I think one of the highlights of this year's conference is seeing so many people discover Black Interior Designers Network and the first timers and just being able to see them excited about design and make connections with other designers has been amazing. What do you love already about the community and about the IDN? That everyone is so open and nurturing. Um, I think that's really hard to find in this business. But here, everyone is supporting each other. They're asking about what you're working on. So being able to share ideas, generate ideas. It's just a community of innovation. So last year was your first year at the conference. What brought you back this year? It's so funny, I messaged Kia. I was wearing my lanyard the next day because I had so much fun. I gained so much information making these connections. And so I just knew that I needed to come back to get more. You've put so much work into <laughs> this event. What did you want designers to walk away with? Quality. I wanted them to think that it was an investment yeah. and that not only is it worthwhile to invest in us, yeah. but that we are constantly innovating and trying to figure out ways that we can invest in them. We hope you enjoyed this insider's look at the ninth annual Black Interior Designers Network Conference. For Business of Home, I'm Caitlin Peterson, and we'll see you next time.